This video is all about cinnamon. And no, I'm not referencing that horrible fad from 10 years ago. Do you hesitate, so. That was like the ultimate example of don't try this at home or anywhere. But you didn't listen, did you? <laughs> not beer, by the way. That's for later. I'm working right now. So yes, I'm talking about a Benjamin Moore paint color that you may want to use in your home. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it, including some awesome color pairings that go with it. Today's video is also sponsored by our good friends over at Mighty Boards. They make our favorite tester boards due to their quality, size, and overall usefulness. Whether you're considering a color like cinnamon or any other color for your home, never rely on those silly little small paint chips that you grab at the paint store. Those are just a starting point. You really gotta up your testing game and you could do that with Mighty Boards. All you need to do is just grab some paint, usually in the form of a little tester pot from your local paint store and get a few good coats on a Mighty Board. That way you can move it from wall to wall within a room so you can get a really accurate assessment of how the color is going to look in your space, not in the paint store, but in your home. We always recommend testing your paint colors out before committing to painting your walls. It's always a good idea because you don't wanna make that costly mistake. Maybe you thought you liked cinnamon, but then really you wanted something bright and fun like raspberry blush or vice versa. You won't know that unless you test. And Mighty Boards should be available at your local paint store. But if it isn't, send the owner of said paint store a friendly little reminder that maybe they should carry Mighty Boards because they're awesome. I'll leave their information in the description down below if you wanna pick some up yourself. And thanks to them for helping us out with today's video. So cinnamon, right? It's an extremely rich brown color that has some similarities to the spice that it was named after. It's warm, it has a lovely level of depth with its combination of brown, orange, and perhaps a little touch of red as well. And one of the reasons we're talking about it today is because it's part of the 2023 Color Trends palette released by Benjamin Moore. And if you see all of the colors together, cinnamon is kind of an interesting one. And I'm not, I'm not sure if interesting is the right word, but it still suits the overall vibrant and exciting variety that we get from all of these colors. I mean, look at them. But at the same time, it seems like one of the colors that would actually fit in more traditional palettes in more traditional color schemes, I guess. Way easier than something like Savannah Green, for example. That's mainly because it is loosely based on brown, which is a pretty well-liked and usable color hue to use. It's also normally pretty neutral, still warm and cozy, all that. But cinnamon is a little more than brown. It does have that fiery, rusty terracotta quality that does make the color a bit too bold to be deemed as neutral in the traditional sense. Does that make sense? I don't know. It may be one of the safer colors in the Color Trends palette, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but it's still quite saturated and actually a lot darker than it looks. And we can determine how dark a color is by checking its what? I'm just checking to see if you're listening. It's LRV, of course. We talk about this all the time. But for those of you that don't know, that's cool. LRV, it stands for light reflectance value. And an easy way to describe this is a zero to 100 number reflecting its darkness score. So the closer a color is to zero, the less light it ends up reflecting. This means that cinnamon reflects about 11% of its light because it has an 11.2 LRV. This means it's definitely on the darker side of things. Now, even with its prominent warmth, I do see this color as more of an accent choice because of how deep it is. Not necessarily a go-to room color for a lot of people, unless we're talking about the powder room or something, which you can put any color in there, so it's all good. I could also see cinnamon working pretty well in the dining room, maybe a living room if you were looking for something with a bit more punch, but only in that living room that you don't really use every single day. You know what I mean? Not because it's an ugly color, it's just, it's a lot. Not really a color that suits a, here's where I relax kind of space for most people. I also find cinnamon to be a fun choice as an exterior color, mainly as an accent front door color, but in some cases, a main body color as well. On the interior side, I think it's more commonly used as a feature wall color alongside a soft or more subtle, warm 
kind of base color surrounding it. That's probably how I would use it most likely. The key to unlocking this paint color is putting other awesome colors around it. And guess what? That's what I did for you. Yes, you, watcher. Five what? color pairings for cinnamon, and all it costs is a bop of the like button. So easy. So first off, we have the white color pairing that I enjoy with cinnamon. It's one of the go-to warm whites, and it's called Swiss coffee. Have you ever had cinnamon in your coffee? I know I do, because you know, I go to a place called Starbucks, I think, and they have it. I'm trying here. Swiss coffee just has the right amount of creamy warmth. Also a softer white in general, because you don't need anything super stark and bright to contrast with cinnamon or contrast. There's going to be a huge jump no matter what off-white you end up using because of how dark cinnamon is. And I think Swiss coffee has just the right amount of subtlety to it. Great choice as a coordinating ceiling white trim color or even an exterior color pairing for cinnamon. Why not? My light color choice is actually not what I usually do, which is pick a light neutral that works. This color ties in the next two colors I'm gonna talk about and is essentially a fun alternative to Swiss coffee. So if you didn't want something that was just kind of warm white, you can use a color called cream puff. And it's this powdery gray pink that feels somewhat fresh to me. It's just about as light as Swiss coffee, but of course goes into a very different direction color hue wise. The undertones are very different. I would not recommend this as a ceiling or a trim color, unlike Swiss coffee, but this is a fine choice for a wall color, probably in those more tertiary parts of your home, like bedrooms, could be a fun basement color choice. I could see it working in the kitchen as well because the pink is subtle, but it's there. For my mid-tone, I came close to picking the Benjamin Moore Trends color in conch shell slash Tofino Sunset, but I thought it was a bit of a cop-out <laughs> because I have another color from that whole palette that I'm gonna talk about. So I went with a slightly dustier, rosier color in Titanic Rose. This color is just a bit deeper it has a little more mystery, I guess, to it. That's just my gut feeling. And you do see more of that red undertone coming through, giving you that pinky clay feel to it. You will see a lot of that pinkiness, especially next to cinnamon, which brings forth more orange. I would call this the use with caution choice of the bunch. This is a color that is meant to support cinnamon or vice versa. So don't have the two kind of evenly matched and distributed in a space. Have one be more predominant, and then the other just be a little pop. The dark color pairing is probably my favorite of the bunch, and it's the beloved navy blue, Hail Navy. This is the color that brings things back to normal a little bit, but still maintains a somewhat complementary relationship with the primary color, cinnamon in this case. It's not in the same family at all, really. In fact, the only similarity between these two colors is how dark they both are. I think Hail Navy is so popular in general because it's very versatile, I find. Even though it's a navy blue, it has that shaded kind of blackened quality to it, which allows it to work in a lot of situations, even with rust cream and pink. Who knew? But if you don't want blue in the mix, well, that's fine because I got you covered with my trendy color pairing. That's me picking one of the other seven colors from the Color Trends palette by Benjamin Moore to pair with cinnamon. And what better choice than to find an alternative to Hail Navy in Wenge. In terms of dark colors, Wenge just fits a little bit easier because of that added warmth within it. Because after all, a deep shade of orange is actually brown, so it works. For more Benjamin Moore colors for 2023, you can click right here because we're going through all of these back to back to back for you.